water is two-thirds of the planet's surface. The changes related to water are perhaps most obvious on the large scale in terms of sea level rise. I work on problems of how do glaciers move, how do they change in response to climate. 30, 40 years ago, that was a traditionally disciplinary and rather obscure field of study. Now, there's a lot of public demand for knowledge and understanding about sea level rise. That pulls together oceanography, glaciology, geology of coastlines. One of the greatest challenges is keeping up with knowledge, not just in your own field, but in all of these related fields. The first way to know that what you're reading is worth reading is that it has been through a review process. I became involved in Oxford Handbooks and Line primarily because I knew the senior editor, Alan Grobart. He had this new project in natural hazards, the combination of print and online resources that allows us to very rapidly navigate what's out there and be able to examine it at different levels. Get a quick overview, be able to cut in at a deeper level. My vision for the Oxford Handbook Online for Natural Hazards is ease of access so that somebody coming in from outside of this field can get a sense of its component parts fairly efficiently. Another vision is to try to shape the research being done in natural hazards in a way that responds to societal needs. What are the questions? that policymakers, planners, risk managers are asking. What are the answers that scientists need to be producing? Earth and environmental sciences has become a very big field. It's a very complex field. At least what they have to be able to do is to know who to go to.